Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Acting Career Expert Studio. My name is Dan Warner, and today we're going to be talking about uh, comedy versus improv. And we're going to talk a little bit about them as it pertains to acting, um, the different classes, what goes on in the classes, and just the general differences between the two. And, and you know... <clears throat> maybe which one's better for you. Uh, after the explanation, you might think, oh, stand-up, <clears throat> way better training, or improv, no doubt. Um, before we start, though, there's some really exciting news that I have coming up. Um, the Acting Career Expert Studio, uh, actingcareerexpertstudio.com, is coming live soon. Um, it's going to be so fantastic. Uh, there's going to be over 50, probably closer to 75 video workshops on the site um, it, it, from everything from the beginning to perfecting and maintaining your career to becoming a working actor. Um, all of your acting questions answered. Um, uh, you know, you're going to have uh, course progress charted, um, you know, a development tracker. Uh, what else? <clears throat> video response, feedback, uh, live, Zoom, coaching, um, God, interactive forums, a strategic career plan. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be over, probably over a hundred videos uh, on this site, and it's coming very soon. So if you go to actingcareerexpertstudio.com, you can also uh, sign up for uh, live Zoom coaching. Uh, I'm doing that still. Uh, and then it, it, since we haven't started yet, you can put your name uh, on the waiting list. There's a little sign-up sheet to put your name on the waiting list. So actingcareerexpertstudio.com, check it out. It's going to be pretty good. I've been working on it for a really long time. Uh, so let's get to improv versus, uh, versus uh, stand-up. Um, you know, they're two diff completely different sort of uh, genres. Uh, a lot of times... <clears throat> People get them confused because stand-up, you're, you know, if you're doing stand-up comedy, uh, there's also some improv in that as well. Um, but there's not stand-up comedy in improv, if that makes sense. If you're doing stand-up comedy, you can use improv. If you're doing improv, stand-up comedy has sort of no place. Um, let's start with the improv, some of the benefits of, of taking an improv class. Um, one of the first things that's so invaluable uh, for taking an improv class is you learn how to audition better. You're going to become a much better auditioner um, while you're taking an improv class. I was at the Groundlings Theater for years and man, I never felt so confident when I was uh, at the Groundlings Theater when I had an audition because I was just, I was on my toes and ready to go. Uh, doing improv is uh, terrifying and I was super nervous. It started maybe two or three hours before class started because I knew I was going to be on stage and just whoop, going. Um, but what it teaches you to do is use your brain. Um, and you're not so caught up, you know, when you're acting or you have an audition, you're caught up, a lot of actors are caught up with uh, getting the words right. You gotta get the words right, you gotta, you know, be letter perfect with all of the things. And with improv, y you don't. And when your brain's not working on getting the words right, you're free to just sort of do whatever you want. Um, it is difficult sometimes to make stuff up on the spot. But that's why you take class, and it is uh, it, it it will it will widen your um, it'll widen your emotional comfort zone for sure. Um, uh, you know, you will develop sort of a natural flow with dialogue, uh, which is super invaluable, especially for. Uh, for auditioning. Uh, it's really great for auditions, uh, especially commercial auditions. Um, God, what else? Um, I, you know, you just, you get out of your head and you learn to be less self-conscious about things. Uh, and when you just sort of let that go, uh, it, it's really amazing at what magical things can happen. I was, I had a coaching session the other day and I was talking to this guy and, and <clears throat> he was trying to memorize the lines and I said, uh, I said, listen, you have to give yourself permission to take your time and just, you know, look at, look at who you're talking to, think about that, and really give yourself permission to take a breath. And 
when you do that, especially in improv, when you take a minute and then you say something, it, I mean, it's, it's really, uh, it, it's fantastic. So improv is definitely an, an excellent skill to acquire. Uh, even if you just take it for a, a few months or six months or something like that, you're, you're still going to be um, uh, a much better actor, a much better trained actor. Also, here's the other thing, is the industry, I will tell you, is quite impressed when you tell them that you've had improv training. Um, they look at you twice. Uh, they really like that, uh, that you've, and it also shows that you're being proactive with your career. You know, you're not just, you didn't take just a scene study class or an acting technique class, and then you're like, okay, now I'm an actor. Well, sure, but, you know, if you did stand-up, if you've done improv, if you've taken a cold reading class, you know, that tells them that you're, <clears throat> you're being proactive about your career. So improv is fantastic and I would highly, highly recommend it uh, to anyone who is a beginning actor, even intermediate or advanced. It's a, just a wonderful, scary, fantastical uh, class that you can take. Um, and, and improv techniques are, uh, it, this video is not long enough to, <coughs> excuse me, go into uh, all the techniques of improv, but um, go look on YouTube, look at some improv on YouTube and just get a feel for uh, what's going on. It's, it is terrifying, but it's uh, wildly um, sort of, uh, you just feel like you've accomplished so much when you get finished with uh, uh, each improv class uh, that you take. <clears throat> Great feeling of satisfaction. Um, so, that versus stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy is a completely different animal. Stand-up comedy requires uh, writing, it requires timing, it requires practice. Stand-up comedy classes are fantastic. Uh, Greg Dean stand-up comedy workshop is the one I took when I first started out and Greg Dean <coughs> is a fantastic uh, uh, teacher uh, uh, and he's been doing it for years and years and he's taught thousands of comedians uh, to do their very first stand-up. He's, he's wonderful. So uh, I'll leave his, uh, I'll leave his information in the, uh, in the, in the uh, section below there, in the information below. Um, but that's one really fantastic class to take. Um, <clears throat> stand-up comedy as a skill will also make you better at auditioning. Not as good, I believe, as improv, because improv is very sort of you know, on the fly. But stand-up comedy, what that will do for your acting is that will teach you, <laughs> that will, uh, it'll teach you rejection as, as good as any door-to-door uh, -door sales job, I believe. Um, you are standing on stage, man. You've got no props. You're naked. You're there with, your, with the material that you wrote. And there's the audience. And you got one crack at this. And, you know, if it fails, which it will, um, it's maybe the worst feeling in the world. <clears throat> if you succeed, uh, it's maybe one of the best feelings in the world. So the, the, uh, the risk to reward factor is, uh, is quite great <laughs> for, for both. Um, uh, one famous actor said at one point, he says, I, I, I tried st stand-up comedy and he goes, I, I I'll never do it again. He says, uh, when you're failing, it's like diving into an empty swimming pool. Uh, and that's true. But again, it, when you're succeeding, it's, uh, there's uh, no better feeling in the world to stand up there for 10 minutes and make an audience laugh for 10 minutes. Uh, and it gives you a lot of confidence. And, and it's helped me in my acting for sure. Uh, it helps when you're doing sitcoms. It helps when you're doing any sort of comedic films because your comedic timing will be there and if you don't have that training sometimes you're going to step on a line or you're going to speak before the audience is done laughing uh, or you're going to step on your own joke uh, but it, it, doing stand-up comedy it teaches you because you tell the joke and there's sometimes where you tell a joke and you're not expecting a laugh and they go crazy so you've got to pause you can't just keep talking because you're going to screw that up so uh, so you wait, and it's like, well, shit, I didn't rehearse waiting for this, but now I have to wait till my next line. And usually that makes the next line funny. <clears throat> Without that training, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's not going uh, to um, come out.
come forward uh, when you're doing a scene uh, in, a, in a sitcom or a, a, a comedic film or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, the comedic timing is wonderful. Uh, the subtle, you know, the subtle glances, the, subtle, the subtlety that you can use during stand-up, and the patience uh, to let the joke land. Um, those are, are very critical things that you would learn um, uh, doing stand-up, taking a stand-up comedy class. Uh, both are, are super valuable. I'd say uh, improv is a little better, like I said, uh, um, for auditions. But man, there's nothing beats doing stand-up comedy. You're going to gain, you're, same thing, you're going to gain confidence. You're, you're going to get thick skin, uh, and rejection is not going to be that big of a deal to you. Uh, not going to be that big of a deal. It's still going to be a big deal, maybe. But uh, you will definitely learn to monitor that uh, uh, taking a stand-up comedy class. So uh, those are the two differences. And, and again, when you're doing stand-up comedy, you also, like I said, you use writing. You're writing your own jokes. You're figuring out the timing. And man, it's just a fantastic skill to have. Um, if this video uh, uh, was helpful, at any point in time, leave me a question and or comment down below. Like and subscribe to my channel. Go to uh, uh, actingcareerexpertstudio.com. It's going to be pretty great. It's going to be pretty great. Uh, we're, we're building it right now, and uh, we're doing workshops, and it's going to be fantastical. Um, let's see. I guess that's it. I don't have, uh, I don't have a, a who said that line. Um, or, or anything else. So I'm just going to say I will see you next week uh, right here, and we'll be talking about something else that will change your life. will change your life. I change people's lives. One person at a time. <laughs>